Welcome. This is a demo video for an application I wrote for your iPhone. Uh, it, it's called Poker Tournament ICM++, and it is an ICM calculator with some additional features, hence the plus plus. Uh, it will run on your iPhone and should run on your iPad in, an, in your emulator, an iPhone emulator on your iPad. It features full ICM functionality, and we're going to demonstrate that as, long as, as well as the other features. Uh, it has a set of features called Tournament Management Tools, and it has a uh, Bubble Factor Analysis feature, all of which we're going to talk about. The last two features are unique to this product and, um, may, and hopefully will provide you with some additional value. My name is Jerry Rodman. I'm the author of this program, and to find uh, ICM calculator, my ICM calculator in the Apple iStore. Uh, search for the keywords ICM space Rodman, Rodman being my last name, and you'll be sure to get the right product. So what is independent chip model? Uh, basically, during at the end of a chip, at the end of a tournament, uh, chip values in terms of dollars are not linear. Chips lost uh, hurt you more than chips won, and the easiest way to remember this or to visualize it is let's take a case where you start with 5,000 chips. If you lose all your chips, you have zero equity. But if you double up your chips to 10,000 chips, you don't automatically win the tournament or you may not even be in the money. So chips lost even at the beginning of the tournament, but especially at the end of the tournament as you start climbing the prize pool ladder, etc., cetera, are, there's, there's a big disparity and chips lost always hurt you more than chips won help you. What is it used for? Uh, the dollar value of these of these chips in these different configurations can be used for deal making at the end of a tournament. Uh, they can also be used to correct, uh, determine correct push full strategy at the end of a tournament, both on the bubble and even at the final table. I would suggest those that are not familiar with ICM. I did not make up ICM. ICM is a well known theory. This is just a uh, product that implements a calculation. Uh, I would suggest that um, users more interested Google ICM or ICM Poker uh, for further study. So let's take a quick look at the calculator and how it works. You'll notice there's a tab bar at the bottom. The main tab is on the left, which is the calculator tab. Uh, that's where the data is entered and calculations are done. You can save to enter data and retrieve it from the Save tab. There's a menu and options page, and the top three buttons have to do with tournament management tools, which we'll talk about in a little bit. You can also run samples. We also have a full set of help screens, although most of the functionality of the program will be touched on in this video, hence you won't have to do too much reading when you get the product. So samples are provided, and I'm going to use those samples now to do a quick demonstration for you, and you can uh, you do it on your own just to get familiar with the product. Uh, the payout structures are entered in either percentages or dollars, and in this first sample they're entered in percentages. You can switch to dollars by hitting this toggle button up here, and then it'll change the status and show that everything is in dollars. In this case, we have a 50, 30, 20 percent payout. Uh, here are our stack sizes, and what is the dollar value, or the or percentage value, rather, in dollars of the total prize pool of each of these stacks? And that's listed off to the right here, 6%, 25%, 32%, and 37%. These are calculated automatically in the samples as you go from sample to sample. Normally, you'll hit the Calculate button to do that. Let's take a look at a sample where we enter the values in dollars. Skip ahead a few. And in this one, for example, we have dollar payouts of 2,500, 1,500, and 1,000. And these are all our stack sizes. And in this point in time, in this, in this tournament, with six people left in three places, this is the dollar equity value of, of each person's chip stack. So the 878 is worth 331, and the 7,200 is worth 1646. Again, these are not linear, so they do not agree with the percentage of the total chips that each of these stacks might uh, represent because that is how uh, ICM calculator works. It, it, it assumes that chip values are not linear. Uh, a couple of other features. Uh, we have, uh, as opposed to some other products, all the information is entered on a single screen and viewed on a single screen and payout structures can be saved for reuse. Tournament management tools are sort of an outgrowth of 
they're not really don't really have much to do with ICM but if you're running a tournament since you're entering payout structures anyway there's just a natural extension of functionality which I decided to include in the app and let's the best way to look at this is through example let's say you run a tournament every Friday night and you save the payout structure as shown in the tournament percentages are 40 30 20 10 but you don't know how many people are going to show up there might be rebuys etc you don't know what the total prize pool is. Well, at the end of the uh, end of the night, when you determine the payouts, you have to, of course, go through and figure out your total and then allocate it to all these percentages. Uh, one of the functions of tournament management tools is to do that for you. So, for example, having entered that payment structure, if we convert our payouts to dollars using this option, and let's say we've got two thousand dollars worth of uh, buy-ins, press C, continue. You see, using the percentages we had, it, it, it uh, recalculates the amounts. So that's pretty handy for a, a tournament manager. Uh, and, you know, if you are a tournament manager and don't even care about ICM, that might be worth the price of the app itself. Here's another tournament management tool. Let's say, for example, we decide to withdraw $500 and pay it to all the participants and leave $1,500 in the pool and play for the rest. You, all you need to do is just change the payout total to 1500 and it recalculates. So this used to be 800 now it's 600 I just knocked it out by mistake by clicking on it. Uh, and 450 and 300 and 150 And those are the tournament management tools. There's another one here to uh, uh, simply take the total amount of uh, the pool and divide it by an even chop. However, to do that, you need to have prize pools uh, numbers entered here, which I do not in order to uh, know the number of players, but that's just another feature. Uh, last but not least, we have the bubble factor analysis, and we're going to save that for part two of the video. Uh, just as a teaser, the bubble factor analysis is what allows you to actually use ICM calculations to make correct push-full decisions, uh, both real-time, I suppose, if you're online, or you can use them for a study guide after the fact. Stay tuned for that in part two, and thank you for watching.